Welcome to this quick overview of Watchsmith. Watchsmith is an app designed to let you customize your Apple Watch and how you use it. The first thing to understand and to get the maximum use out of Watchsmith is that your Apple Watch has a variety of different types of complications. Each of these is shown in this main list in Watchsmith. Uh, where you can use the particular complication type is shown in the graphics underneath the timeline here where you see where a complication can be installed. For example, the Infograph Circle watch face can be installed on the Infograph uh, infograph modular and modular compact meridian or California faces in each of these slots as appropriate. Note that the infograph uh, watch face has two different types, the ones on the bottom in the middle as well as the infograph top which appears here. And this applies to all the different complication types. Um, on older watches, series 1, 2, and 3, only the X large and modular small are currently supported with uh, more coming down the road. One thing that's worth pointing out is for each type of complication, for example, Infograph Circle, you can only have it installed into one slot on your Apple Watch at a particular time. So even though the Infograph Face supports three Infograph Circle types, if you installed Watchsmith into multiple of these, you would have the same uh, information displayed there um, at the same time. It would be a duplicate, and this is a limitation of watchOS. So to get started, I'm going to show you how to set up one of these um, and then kind of walk you through the process of getting started with it. So I'm going to set up an infograph circle watch face. Um, so I tap on it and I'm presented with this, in this interface, which shows a timeline of the day um, as well as having a few other options. So the way this configuration screen works is you have to, can define a default complication that is shown in this slot uh, throughout the day. And if you don't want um, any others, you can just delete this example one and you'll just have this. And this will show whatever is your default complication um, throughout the day. And additionally, though, you can configure different complications to appear on your watch at different times. So say, for example, I wanted to show the weather first thing in the morning. So I could drag from 6 to 9, and I'd get this other complication that is running from 6 to 9 in the morning. And then if I tap on that complication, I can scroll down through the various types until I see the weather. And I'll get into this in a bit more detail, but to start with, so now I've set the weather to appear um, from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Um, and then otherwise, it'll show this default complication. If after I've made a complication, I want to change the duration of it and say, actually, I'm a bit more of an early bird, so I want to change this weather to show more early in the day, I just drag the end point, drag it, and let go. Um, or alternatively, if I wanted to shift the complication entirely, keeping the same duration, I can click in the middle of it and drag it around um, however I want, but I'm going to leave it back from 5 to 9. And then alternatively, I can, like I said, I can con configure a default complication. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and configure this. So this interface is designed around showing you how to configure a particular complication to be exactly how you'd like it to appear. The intention with Watchsmith is that it is largely comprehensive, that it has lots of different types and styles of complications that you can choose from. If you think of one that you would like to see that's missing here, please email me and let me know. I would love to kind of expand and grow this um, over time. So this, the way this, comp this editor works is that in the top section here, the style, you choose the style of complication you'd like. And these range in a, from a wide variety of types. You have the simple sort of date and time and calendar, activity, um, you have weather, tides, astronomy, time zone, battery. You even have a blank one at the bottom if you just want to have it um, be a single color at a particular time of the day. And the intention with this is that just to give you, like I said, to give you a wide variety. And so for each of these then, you have additional customizations that you can do within that. So say, for example, I want to show um, the month and date. So this will show, you know, April 22nd. Um, within this, I can then choose from a variety of different customization options. So say, for example, I wanted to change the font. Maybe I'm going to make it this really narrow um, d in font. And rather than the top being blue, I want it to be green. I'm going to keep the same bottom color, and I'll, I like the background color being black. So that works for me. And then I come back here, and then I'll see that this that, that configuration is reflected, and then I'll hit save. And you can confirm that you've configured it how you want with this sort of summary timeline that you see here. This is the default, and then any exceptions are shown on this timeline. Now I'm going to show you how to actually install the Watchsmith uh, complication that you configured onto your Apple Watch. So you leave the Watchsmith app and open the Watch app. This is the app with the black icon um, and an outline of an Apple Watch that should be available on your iPhone. Open this, and you'll see a section that is talking about the various watch faces that you have configured. Um, and you're going to want to choose one of these that corresponds with whatever the type that you just created. So we created an infograph um, circle type, which would be a per perfectly appropriate for this infograph watch face. So I'm going to open it up. You have a variety of things you can change here, including the color and so on. But what's 
particularly interesting for us is this complication section where you can choose which complications appear in the various slots. So for me, I'm going to choose the subdial left here, and I'm going to change this to be watchsmith. So now the watchsmith uh, complication is installed here. Um, and this will the preview won't necessarily show what you uh, have here. It'll show live on your actual watch. Um, but this lets you set it um, up as your watch. Um, and you can repeat this process um, for the other types. So for example, if you had installed, configured a different watchsmith complication for the top, because remember the top has a separate one um, than the uh, bottom, or even say I wanted to put it in a corner, I could do that. So the infograph face lets me install up to three different um, watchsmith complications that you could each configure uh, dynamically. Um, then you can set this as your current watch face here, um, which is just a good tool for making sure that this will actually appear on your wrist. Um, and then it should, Watchsmith should then be appearing on your watch. Um, if you don't see it here, um, it is possible that Watchsmith is not installed onto your Apple Watch. And so come over here and make sure that Apple Watchsmith is set to show on Apple Watch in the Watch app. Now, if I jump over to my Apple Watch, you can see that um, the, the that conf complication that we had installed and configured is appearing correctly here and showing the choices that we had. And as we had configured it, um, that's to show the, the weather in the morning. If this was in the morning, this would show that um, as it was configured here. And you can repeat this process multiple times for whatever the various types of uh, complications you'd like to configure. A few little uh, tips and notes um, that I just wanted to finish out this part of this, the walkthrough with um, is so just a note that on the modular small and x-large uh, types, um, you don't get access to the full color suite that you would um, in the infograph types. This is a limitation of watchOS. And so you'll have a lot of these watches, these these complications will have this look where they're kind of white in a tint color. That tint color is the color that you choose when you configure the watch face. Um, but it is, um, you're not going to get that, that full color experience that you would uh, on an infograph type. Additionally, I also wanted to point out that if you're having trouble um, getting a configuration that you set on your iPhone to, to, to appear correctly on your Apple Watch, uh, the best thing to do is to open the Apple the watch on your Apple Watch just by tapping it in a complication and then open the iPhone app um, and have while both apps are running and open on your both your wrist and on your phone hit this force resync to watch button um, and this will give the have the best chance of making sure that 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 configuration is correctly transferred to your watch um, if that doesn't work at the end of the day you can do uninstall and reinstall it from your watch that'll usually clear it up but usually I find that just hitting resync here with both running um, will get the job done Lastly, I just wanted to show you a few aspects of the watch app itself. So if you tap on any of Watchsmith's complications, you'll be brought to this kind of launch screen here. Um, and the intention of this screen is for it to provide you with a variety of different tools and, you, and things you can use on your wrist while you're using your Apple Watch. Um, and because Watchsmith includes such a wide variety of different complications, it made sense for the its app that you launch into from those to be kind of wide and varied. There's workout modes, weather, health, uh, calendar, time zone, games, and astronomy. And the, the intention with this is for it to grow over time. Um, and you can, re you can, can reconfigure this screen however you want. You can drag around the various items in it um, to do, make sure whatever is relevant to you is, is at the top. Um, and for any of these, you can just sort of tap into them and get the... Uh, information that you're interested in. So here you can see this is, you know, the, the weather app will show you that, or you can go into the workouts area and you can choose workouts of a variety of different types. Um, in the health area, you have activity and heart rate data. There's even a breathing app. Um, you can get a time zone converter, um, games, or you can say, you know, go to astronomy and you can watch um, the sun and the moon move um, throughout the day. Um, and the intention with this is for it to grow over time. Again, this is a great area. If you have something that you wish your Apple Watch could do, uh, to please reach out and let me know. But otherwise, the intention here is for it to be at least quick uh, access to information that's relevant to you that you can configure into a complication that can sort of be at home on any of your watch faces. So from at any watch face you are, if you want to start a workout, you can just tap into WatchSmith, hit workouts, and get started. Or you want to check, check the weather, go ahead, tap the WatchSmith uh, complication, and then you want to check the weather on, on your wrist. Um, that's the intention is that this is sort of always available to you wherever you are right from your wrist. Hopefully this is a helpful walkthrough. If you have any other further questions or problems, by all means, reach out to us. There's a link to uh, email us and support. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy using WatchSmith and um, it fits and suits your life well. Thank you.